we received another leak for Halo Infinite's release date as well as a reveal of a brand new character that we'll be working alongside with Master Chief, so stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. Though the Halo Infinite leaks keep on a coming, last week we had a leak with Master Chief himself, Steve Downs, saying that the release date is going to be coming out in November of 2021. Well, it sounds like that information was backed up recently with another interview with another voice actor for Halo Infinite, Verlin Roberts, who does the voice acting for Spartan Griffin. So in this video, we're going to break down that interview because it's really actually some good information within the whole thing. So if you like these kind of informational videos and want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo as it ramp up to the release of Halo infinite make sure you tap subscribe let's get right into the content here on the podcast for Dam and friends vernon roberts came on to just kind of talk about acting and his recent experiences with it since he's relatively new to the scene and within this interview he gave up some pretty good details about the experience of voice acting for halo infinite and revealing that he has done the voice acting for the character called spartan griffin spartan griffin even has his own mega constructs toy as we can take a look right here you can see there it is, Mega Constructs Halo Spartan Griffin, right there, rocking the purple armor set. Kind of looking very familiar to the uh, Monarch armor coating in a way, along with the Needler right there as well. Now, the reason why I point out Spartan Griffin, because it seems like he has some scenes with Mass Chief as he talks about here in this interview. First experience. So was you're in the, the game though? Uh, yeah, so so I, I'll be Spartan Griffin. And um, how did unless, you, how did this not come up at any point? This is awesome, dude. Well, I mean, hopefully they, they may. Who knows? They may have added me out of the game. I mean, it's not released yet, so I don't know. But um, and I was acting opposite um, um, the actor that um, that does the motion capture for Master Chief. And Master Chief is like, you know, seven, eight foot tall. This guy is probably my height. So to get that height, you know, he wears a baseball cap with a stick on it with a tennis ball. And that's what you're that's what you're looking at. And you're talking to while you're doing these scenes as you're looking at this tennis ball, you know, trying to make that as real as possible while you're looking at a tennis ball in this in this warehouse is um, it was it was a great first experience because that was like my first big big time that is gig. wild so he's done motion capture scenes with the body actor of master chief and he did have a pretty cool description of how the whole experience is and how difficult it can be to really act out scenes when there's nothing around you now there really isn't anything else that we know about this spartan because he's not really written in any books he's not really been in any kind of media previously he's a brand new character to halo infinite but it's really cool to know that we will be getting some new characters within the game that have at least some form of dialogue within halo infinite it's gonna be kind of interesting to see where he fits within the story since it is gonna be a master chief focused story and from what we've seen so far it's kind of master chief and the pilot to themselves on the halo ring so when will we see these extra Spartans within the game? I mean, we really won't know until well, we see them in the game, pretty much. And now the second part, I'm sure it's something you guys are all really interested in, is the release date of Halo Infinite. Previously with Steve Downs, the voice actor of Master Chief, said this in an interview. Everything seems to be on track now for a November uh, release on Infinite. Boy, I, I know the understatement of the gaming community would be that I can't wait. Saying a November release date would make a lot of sense as well as that would be the 20th anniversary of Halo on November 15th which would make it a Monday. Plus when the new release date of Fall 2021 was announced by 343, Bonnie Ross even tweeted out saying, hmm, doesn't somebody have an anniversary coming up that year? And she would be very correct. So in this interview with Verlin Roberts, he talks about the uh, release time for Halo Infinite. With the pandemic and everything, and then they, I think they had some leadership um, changes. So now it's pushed till later November of this year. So seeing Steve Downs, the voice of Master Chief himself, Verlin Roberts, as well as Bonnie Ross pointing out the month of November being a really poignant anniversary for Halo Infinite, it would make sense for me that we would see Halo Infinite release on November, sometime in November, most likely before Black Friday, which is going to be the last Friday of November in the US. It's a very huge day for sales and a lot of people buying things for the holiday season. And November 15th falls on a Monday, which game releases typically happen during the week. And so highly likely we'll see a November 15th release time for Halo Infinite. At this point, I feel it's like 
343's worst kept secret of when this game is going to release. I don't think we're gonna get an announcement for a release date for an official date until E3 this year, which E3 should happen during the middle of June. I think that's when we'll see some new gameplay reveals, most likely involving campaign, multiplayer, and a release date as well. And I'm sure showcasing the differences of what the, a year has done for the game as well. But we'll just have to wait a little bit longer to find out some more information about Halo. So if you guys want to stay up to date with everything going on with Halo, make sure you tap subscribe. If you missed any content from me recently or been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, check out the videos on the screen right here. Got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.